Ten times Sasuke helped the Akatsuki. Everyone knows the moment Sasuke worked for Abito slash Tobi, but a few of his other actions had unintended benefits. Throughout the series, Sasuke committed several heinous acts that made him just as villainous as many of the Akatsuki members. Would Sasuke end up being the final villain in the series or be redeemed by Naruto at the end of it all? The final result ended up rather satisfying. Some of his acts of villainy ended up helping the Akatsuki. Both intentionally and unintentionally. Everyone knows the moments he worked for Abito slash Tobi, but a few of his other actions had unintended benefits. 10. Leaving Naruto alive after their first clash. During their first battle, Sasuke proved victorious after their most powerful attacks clashed to create a massive dome of light. It's one of the better battles in the whole series and showed that even though Sasuke was leaving to join Orochimaru, there was still a shred of humanity in him. With Naruto prone on the ground in front of him. He had the chance to kill Naruto, but he didn't want to become just like Itachi. If he'd succeeded, there's no telling the difficulty the Akatsuki would have had with tracking down the Nine Tails on their own rather than just Naruto. 9. Killing Orochimaru gave them one less thing to worry about. While Orochimaru was never a massive threat to the Akatsuki, given how high above their members were to him in terms of power. What Orochimaru did have was a vast network of information, making him a danger to finding out their plans before they could be set in motion. Knowledge was always Orochimaru's biggest strength and what made him such a threat. Sasuke eliminating him allowed the Akatsuki to worry about more pertinent matters. 8. Battle with Deidara allowed Tobi time to analyze Sasuke's potential. The battle between Deidara and Sasuke hurt the Akatsuki in the short term but helped them in the long run. His battle with Sasuke was nip and tuck and should have been a victory for Deidara had there not been a heavy case of plot armor for Sasuke. While it did end up resulting in Daidara's death. It did allow Tobi ample time to analyze Sasuke, well before the reader even knew the goofy member of the Akatsuki was actually its secret leader. 7. Killing Itachi eliminated the one variable in Akatsuki that Tobi couldn't control. There was always one variable in the Akatsuki that Tobi had no control over, the one member who was too smart for their own good. Itachi presented a wrench in Abito's near-perfect plan, knowing full well that Itachi would try to take him out if ever given the chance, especially if it involved Sasuke. This was further evidenced when he implanted an Amoretsu in Sasuke's eye. Triggering should he ever see Abito's Sharingan, showing how protective he was of his brother. 6. Team Taka agreed to retrieve the Eight Tails for Abito. Sasuke and the renamed Taka, agreeing to capture the Eight Tails is the most obvious example of helping the Akatsuki. The way Sasuke just fell in line with Abito slash Tobi was a bit abrupt, but it was interesting to see Sasuke in the iconic Akatsuki robes, the red clouds looking good on him. The others were a bit more out of place as they proved to be nothing more than support fodder for what was essentially a battle between Killer B and Sasuke. One in which Sasuke nearly died. Even his victory was hollow as B duped them. 5. Fighting the respective Kages of each village helped drive home Abito's declaration of war. When declaring war on the whole ninja world, you need some sign of force to show you mean business. And merely name-dropping Uchiha Madara isn't necessarily enough for that. Sasuke helped change that as Abito purposely had Zetsu expose his position so he'd have to battle numerous samurai and eventually the Kages themselves. While the fight was mostly Sasuke just trying to survive, he did manage to damage the Reikich's arm before Abito managed to teleport him away. 4. Killing Danzo helped throw Konoha into a greater state of disarray. Among the villains in the series, Danzo is one of the worst, having very few redeemable qualities, and was the mastermind of almost every horrible thing that happened. 
It was one of the few fights in Shippuden where Sasuke was in the right, being more than justified in eliminating the new Hokage. With Tsunade in a coma, his death also left a massive power vacuum inside Konoha. Leaving it without a leader and one of its chief military tacticians. 3. His bloodlust for Konoha was a perfect diversion. By the start of the war, Sasuke had gone completely off his rocker, throwing away any semblance of morality in his quest to avenge Itachi's sacrifice. He no longer cared about anyone, willing to kill his former allies in Taka and Team 7 if they got in the way. He was dead set on killing everyone in Konoha for laughing at Itachi's sacrifice and finishing what pain started when Shinra tensied the village. This would prove helpful to Abito had Itachi not gotten in the way. 2. Sasuke's desire to kill Naruto made Tobi's job easier. Unlike before, where Sasuke killing Naruto would have been a hindrance, Sasuke's obsession with Naruto was helpful by the end of the series. It would let Abito conserve his powers, using Sasuke as muscle and let him weaken and even defeat Naruto for him. Once Naruto couldn't go on anymore, Abito could sweep in and claim his prize. It's a strategy that could have worked had Sasuke not been so unhinged and had Itachi not put him back on the proper path. 1. Sasuke helped end Kabuto's impure world reincarnation the threat it posed. Kabuto's impure world reincarnation helped bolster Abito's forces far more than they would have been with just an endless army of white zetsus. Making him a true threat in the war. It also introduced the revived versions of characters he didn't want to deal with anymore, such as Itachi and particularly the mysterious person in the final box that Kabuto showed. Judging from their conversation, it's pretty clear it was Madara, the one person Abito feared. Sadly, for Abito, even the technique ending didn't stop Madara. <laughs>